Hi Jillian, here's your help with numbers 28 and 44. So with 28, um, feel free to use a pencil to draw very lightly over the picture in the book just so you can use the picture that it gives you. So I want to find ECD, so ECD makes this angle here if ADC is 66 degrees and ADE is 28 degrees and AEB is 45 degrees. My first step when I have everything labeled is to try to get everything within a single triangle. And I can kind of see that all of the information kind of centers around this triangle where I have that angle C. So I know that this big angle here is 66 and this smaller one is 28. I know that means I can also find this inner angle right here, this EDC, simply by taking 66 minus 28. Now that gives me an answer of 38 for the angle inside of here. When I look at that, that means the only angle I'm missing is this one right here to have three of, or two of the three angles in a triangle. And since this forms a vertical angle with the angle here, 45 degrees, this must also be 45 degrees. So I know that I have an angle of 38, an angle of 45, and an unknown angle. So at that point, I can do the sum of the interior angles of a triangle to solve for C. So 38 plus 45 plus C is equal to 180. Once you solve that, that will give you an answer of 97 for C. For problem 44, um, what we're going to be doing is starting out by just making every formula I can with this picture. So here I see that I have an exterior angle with an interior angle. And I know that as soon as I see this, see how they make a linear pair? I can form an equation with that where 2x minus y plus y plus 4 is going to equal 180. Notice that they are definitely not equal to each other. A couple people did use equality between them. They definitely aren't equal to each other, but you could add them together to make that 180 degrees or straight angle. Now I can also make a couple other formulas out of this and it's really up to you which ones you make. You could say that 2x minus y is equal to x plus 6 plus 40. Or you could do the one that I tend to prefer and that is I'm just going to take the sum of the interior angles of a triangle and make my second equation which is y plus 4 plus x plus 6 plus 40 is equal to 180. Now I know that I can always solve for x and y if I have at least two equations. But what I'm going to want to do first while I'm going through the solution for this is I'm going to try to just simplify these and see if, the, if there's an easier way to find x and y. So I know that here the parentheses won't actually matter since I have only addition and subtraction, which means that I can really do 2x plus the negative y plus y, which just cancel out and leaves us with zero, and my addition of four over at the end. So I have 2x plus 4 is equal to 180. Subtracting 4 from both sides gives me 2x is equal to 176. Therefore, just x is equal to 88. Once I have that, I'm going to be able to substitute in, obviously, for this x plus 6. Um, and I can also substitute in here for 2x. But I'm still missing a y, so that means that there are several parts that I do not have. However, I can put my x value into my other equation and solve for that missing y. So once I've substituted it, I have y plus 4 plus 88 or x plus 6 plus 40 is equal to 180. Now here I want to simplify and combine those like terms. So I'm going to actually end up with y plus, well, 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 40 is 50, 50 plus 88 is going to give us 138. And all of that together 
added to y should give us 180. Therefore, just y is going to be 180 minus 138, which is the same as 42 degrees. So now at this point, I have x, I have y. So I can solve for each of the angles in this triangle and the external angle over here. So in order to get this one, 2 times 88 minus 42 should give us an answer of 134. y plus 4, or 42 plus 4, will give me an answer of 46. And last but not least, x plus 6 becomes 88 plus 6, which gives us 94. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions.